Hey, I'm Luke. De Mauver's theorem is the hardest part of complex numbers. I'm going to go through it with you. This is Abraham de Mavra, and this is what most students do when they see his name pop up on an exam paper. I'm going to show you how to avoid this. So let's look at an example. Here, use de Mavra's theorem to express 1 plus i to the power of 8 in its simplest form. So step number one for de Mavra's theorem is always going to be put your complex number in polar form which, if you're confused about, you can check out our video on polar form. Ignore the power here for getting it in polar form first. So we're just going to put 1 plus i into polar form, which, if you do that out, comes out to be root 2 times cos pi over 4 plus i times sine pi over 4. Now we can use de Mauver's theorem. De Mauver's theorem just says that when you're putting a complex number to a power, you put the modulus, or the r value, to the power, but you multiply the theta by whatever the power is. So you treat them differently, and you'll see that here. So with our complex number here, we're going to put root 2 to the power of 8, and we're going to multiply pi over 4 by 8. So root 2 to the power of 8 times cos, 8 multiplied by pi over 4, plus i times sine 8 multiplied by pi over 4. And now it's just going to be a matter of using your calculator and solving this down. Root 2 to the power of 8 is just 16. And pi over 4 multiplied by 8 is just going to give you 2 pi. So we're going to be left with 16 times cos 2 pi plus i times sine 2 pi. Just put cos and sine into your calculator here. Cos 2 pi is going to give you 1. And sine 2 pi is going to give you 0. So we're just going to have 16 times 1 plus 0 times i. You can see here 0 i, it just cancels. It's gone. So our final answer is 16 times 1, which is just 16. And that's de Mauver's theorem made easy.